Uh, if I'm not playing or training, I'm generally uh, trying to play a bit of golf um, down in Canberra up at Federal Golf Course. It's a, it's a good little course there. Or, I um, don't oh, no, supposed to be doing a bit of uni work as well. Best game I've ever played, uh, there's probably two. I'd probably have to say the, the World Cup quarter final against South Africa. Um, we were just under the pump the whole game um, and to get the win was just uh, a great feeling. Um, and probably also the first time I beat the All Blacks in 2010 uh, in Hong Kong. It was a great game. Um, we'd lost, I think, 10 in a row or something. Very, we'd lost a lot of games in a row to them and uh, to finally beat them in, in uh, dramatic circumstances right at the death was, was a great win. Uh, the practical joker of the team would have to be uh, Nick Cummins thinks uh, he likes to play pranks on blokes and just general general weirdness, uh, yeah, walking around with his headphones on, talking really loud on purpose, stuff like that. Um, you know, his noise cancelling headphones on, he likes to play a few pranks on people from time to time. I was looking forward to you know, going up against Geth and Jenkins and Ken Healy, um, so it's, it's a shame that they've gone home. Um, as far as you know, players I respect, you know, guys like Paul O'Connell, it'd be great to play against him again. Um, Adam Jones is also a very, very great player, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, also, like, you know, I've managed to play a few games with Tommy Youngs and, and Dan Cole, it's like, you know, playing against them and uh, trying to get one up on them as well. So, definitely, you know, a lot of the front rowers, and there's some great forwards in that forward pack that, you know, I'd love to play against. Yeah, boys are very excited after watching them play. You know, there's very, they've got a lot of strengths. You know, they're doing very well with the front football that their forwards are generating. And they've got great, you know, big backs. Um, and then they've also got, you know, some guys like Brian O'Driscoll is just uh, extremely clever and never really takes the wrong option. So the boys are extremely excited. And, uh, you know, we definitely know sort of what the task is ahead of us. We're, uh, we're knuckling hard down this week and next week to make sure we're best prepared for what's going to be an extremely tough series.